This is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to look at a free update to the UV Grabber toolbox. I've added a bunch of new features, including UDIM support, so let's check it out. To launch the toolbox, you just go up here if you've purchased the full script pack and click on the UV Grab button, and that will launch the UV Grabbing toolbox. First off, I've added a version number to the tool, and I'm going to add that to the rest of the toolboxes as well, so you can make sure that you're on the latest version. This version is 1.5. If you're not familiar with this tool, it's a quick way to select any object and automatically send a UV snapshot of that object into Photoshop or whatever image editor you have assigned in Maya. To do that, all you need to do is select an object, click the refresh button to load the UV sets for that object, and then choose a resolution. So I'm just going to do 512 just so it exports quickly and we can actually see it in Photoshop. If we do a higher res image, the wireframe will be really skinny, so I'll have to zoom in. So then just click the snapshot button. Wait a second, and boom, there we go. We got our wireframe right here in Photoshop, and we're ready to go. It's non-anti-aliased, and it also has no background, so you can just drag this layer into any image or any texture that you're working on and just drop it right in without having to mask it or set a layer mask or any of that stuff. When you first load the tool, it won't actually open the images in Photoshop, and you just need to configure it to auto-send it. And the reason for that is you can actually auto-send the UV snapshot to any program you want, anything that will open a PNG. So what you need to do if you click the snapshot button and it doesn't open in Photoshop, maybe it opens in F-Check or just some other random thing, is you want to go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, Preferences, and then come down to the bottom here and go to Applications. And under Applications, it's the other image files under Image Editing Application. See, I've just browsed here to my Photoshop EXE, and I put that in both. So basically, when I click the Edit button in Maya, it's going to open a PSD in Photoshop or any other image file format in Photoshop. And this here is what the script needs to understand what application it should send the file to. So just load up Photoshop here, just browse to wherever your Photoshop is, and then uh, close that. And then once you've done that, anytime that you click the snapshot button here, let's just change resolution to 1024, 1024, just click this. Actually, I'm just going to close this down here. And uh, I'll actually close Photoshop. Even if Photoshop's closed and you click the snapshot button, click it, takes a second, boom, and then it loads Photoshop for you. And imports the wireframe. And this one's a bit higher res, so you can zoom in here a bit. So save a ton of time doing that. I hate fiddling with UV snapshots and like going through this menu and doing all these options every time and then not remembering where the thing is or whatever. It's just a nice little bridge between Maya's UV snapshot and whatever image editing program you use. So pretty cool. If you're still having trouble configuring Photoshop to launch the images automatically, you can always come here and click the click for help button. And there's a detailed description of what each button does in the interface, as well as how to configure the uh, Photoshop stuff right here. It's also got a link to the YouTube videos where you can watch this tutorial and the previous tutorial. You can click the help button again, actually, to close the window. So you don't even need to go over there to close the window down, which is nice. It's a toggle. So help on, help off. Pretty cool. As well, if you right click the UV grab button, you'll get some options for some common sizes you might want to send to Photoshop. So 8192 down to 1024. And if you click any one of those, it will automatically send the screenshot. So you don't have to have the window open necessarily. You can just right click here if you just want to send a single UV snapshot. No options, just quickly send zero to one over to Photoshop. Boom. OK, let's get to the new features. So first up, I've added the uh, UV set list here. So basically what that does is you select an object and you click refresh and it loads what UV sets it has. And then if you select any UV set here, it will change to that UV set there. And then, of course, you can just take a snapshot of that. So we can go snapshot, let's say UV set four. Wait a second. Oh, has to update. There we go. There's UV set four loaded. Go back to my uh, let's try UV set uh, two snapshot. Go there, it has to overwrite the file, sure, update, and there you go. And so just a really quick way to UV snapshot any UV set that you want inside of Maya. Now, something to watch out for is when I click an object and I click refresh, it loads its UV sets. If I click an object and I don't click refresh, see, it still has the old UV sets, and that can lead to confusion. I couldn't figure out how to get it working so it would auto-update the UV sets, and I noticed in Maya's own UV set editor, it also has a refresh button, so I'm not sure if it's actually possible without clicking this. So before you do any UV snapshot on a new model, you want to come here and you want to click refresh. And then you can see it only has map one. And if I come here, 
see it only also has map one, but it's out of sync now. So if you click refresh, it pops back to map one, and then you can select the UV set that you want to work with. So just something to watch out for. As well, by popular demand, I've added UNIM tile support. So if we just zoom out here, UV set one actually has the nine tiles here. So one through nine or whatever, however the UNIM stuff works. So if you want to capture those, all you need to do is increase the tile numbers U and V here. This works similar to how Maya's own UDIM UV snapshot works. So if we wanted to go, let's say we want to go three up and one horizontal, that'd be U1 and V123. So we could do three here. And let's just do 512 just so it's faster. And so we can see it without zooming in. So click snapshot. Wait a second. Oh, it's going to ask to update that one. And there we go. There's one, two, and three. I'm just going to close these guys down here. So let's say we wanted to do two and two. That's going to be one, two, one, two. So these four. Snapshot. Open, open, open. And there we go. There's the four UDIM tile snapshots. So that should all be working good now. Close those guys down. And then if you wanted to get this entire area here of UDIMs, which would be nine, it would be three and three. Click snapshot. Over to Photoshop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boom. There you go. UDIMs working. On top of that, I've also added a Find button, so you can now browse to the folder where the snapshots are stored. So if you just click the Find button, boom, it's going to open the folder. That's where I store some other temp stuff too. But you can see here's UV Grab, U1, V1, U1, V2, U1, V3, and so on and so forth. So if you want to manually copy those files somewhere or you just want to look at what data is being output, you can find it in this folder here, which is your C drive, MA Temp. And that'll be a little bit different on the Mac. Another feature I added was this tick box to send to editor. And when that is on, it's going to try to automatically send the images to whatever image editor you have assigned in Maya. And when it's off, it's just going to write the files to this folder. The reason that you'd want to sometimes turn it off is because if you're exporting a lot of UDIM tiles, like more than nine, like let's say you want to do 100 or something, it can take forever for your image editor to open those one at a time. And maybe you don't want them to open in that image editor at all. Maybe you just want to see them in this folder and then like drag them somewhere else or whatever so basically just to save you from all that wait time the other cool thing i've added is the tool actually cleans up after itself so we've currently exported nine tiles here and this folder is like full of stuff and it's hard to see what's going on if we turn this guy off just so it doesn't open in the thing and then we set this back to one and one and click snapshot it's actually going to delete all the tiles that it didn't currently generate and just give you the one. And then so if we were to set this to two and two, that would give us four. Click it. And it's going to give us the four and then back to three and three. And you can see how much faster they generate when it doesn't have to send them to the image app. So you can see you can get a lot of tiles really fast if you turn this off. It still works totally fine. It'll still clean up after itself if you turn it on. It's just that it would have kept switching back and forth between this view and Photoshop. And so we couldn't see what was happening. So here I'll set it to one and one and click the button. And it opens the one there. And if we go back into the folder, you can see it also cleaned up. So just some options to work however you like. If you've already purchased the Mega Script Pack or the UV Mapping Pack, this will be a free update, so you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the UV Mapping Pack, or you can get it in the Mega Script Pack. So take your pick. Thank you very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you like this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have a magnificent day.